Good afternoon. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.net for Sunday, August 15. Uh, pretty difficult market this past week. We had the Fed meeting this week. They came out, uh, gave what many thought was uh, decent news. Uh, they did a mini quantitative easing. We saw a nice little pop on that. And then the next day, the market tanked uh, on the same news. And we had more of that malaise on Friday economic data sort of coming in as expected retail sales uh worse than expected but no real surprise uh we had the end of uh unemployment benefits for a few million people in may and june which was a big hit to the economy and we've had that hangover from the european crisis in may and june which spilled into july so i mean there was a lot of headwinds the news was not unexpected and we have much lower trading volumes uh, in the market right now. So that's adding to the grief we're seeing right now. Looking at the Dow 15-minute chart, I don't really like the setup that we have here. We really need to have an update tomorrow, or we could be looking at a test of the 10K mark uh, pretty fast. Uh, as you can see here, we're in this bullish falling wedge right now. And over the last couple of days, we've been trading within a 50-point uh, trading range. I do not like seeing consolidation like this at the bottom of its steep sell-off. Usually, it implies further downside. If we look at the daily chart, you can see on the daily chart, over the last two sessions, we've been holding the 50-day moving average, but we really haven't seen a big pop off of that. And usually, when you see an indice or a stock continue to test a moving average and not really bounce big from it, what tends to happen is the more times you test it, the weaker it gets, and then all you see is a flush down. So that is why we remain in a very high cautious stance right now. Uh, this is a very dangerous market. There are low volumes out there, and we can easily see this market run back to 10,700 or go to 10K, just like that. So it is equally risky for both longs and shorts, in my opinion. Ideal stance right now is high cash and doing what we've been doing over the last few days, trading the nice intraday moves on some plays, taking our quick, small gains, and then stepping to the sidelines and starting fresh again the next session. That is the best position to be in right now. RSI is under 50 on the Dow. Uh, stochastics are oversold, so I mean... We need an update tomorrow, plain and simple. We have to be up tomorrow, and up 10, 15 points isn't going to cut it. We need to be up 50 to 100 to even consider this being a possible temporary bottom. But uh, things not looking uh, too healthy here right now. SMH, of course, tech stocks have been very, very weak over the last week, and I'm major reason we've seen the market come down like it has no leadership here we are back down at the lower trading range of the smh uh since the flash crash lows the smh has been trading from 25.50 to 29 dollars. so here we are we find ourselves back down here at that lower support as i've mentioned before if you're looking for a small swing play here and you've got some risk tolerance you can look to enter here would keep your stops at $25 so you're giving yourself 50 cent downside on this uh, trading range trade and you're looking at 10 to 15 percent or three dollars upside so 50 cents downside three dollar upside twenty five dollar breaks you run for the exit RSI is getting to actually RSI is more oversold than we were at the flash crash lows we are deeply oversold but this is a low-volume market with a lot of skittish traders out there right now. U.S. dollar, you recall last Sunday, we mentioned to look for a bounce in the U.S. dollar, and we got a fat bounce off the dollar, which in turn wasn't really good for the overall market. So let's see what happens here. It did break above the downtrend line. It's got major, major resistance here between the $83, $84 level. Kind of a little bit of a surprise that we saw such a big bounce on the dollar, given that the new moves the fed is doing without corresponding moves from other central banks is kind of dollar bearish but more probably a technical trade here at least in the near term let's jump into some stock plays right now 
DSCO, uh, when we've been patiently playing on this stair step move over the last month, uh, looks like it's found very nice support here around uh, 24, 25 cents. And we should see the beginnings of an up move in this stock this week. Our secondary target is a move to the 37 cent area. RSI is looking to bounce here. Stochastics are in the basement and any sort of positive market here. And we could see a very fast move in DSCO in the near term. CRXX, this was a stock we jumped into on Thursday. Nice little pop there on Friday. Again, the market hasn't really helped here, but this is a stock that loves to bounce pretty nicely off uh, the 200-day moving average. So all we're looking for right now is a bounce back to the 20-day exponential. That's a buck 49, buck 50. Uh, we're not looking for home run plays out of stocks right now. We're looking to make a small living while this market malaise continues. Short plays. Uh, we're going to continue to look. We're not going to be shorting the overall market. We're going to continue to look to short turds like ICOP. Had a really big spike. Gave that second day sell off. Has rebounded on Friday. And uh, I would actually keep an eye on this one. This sort of setup on these turd low float runners typically uh, has another secondary move. So you could see this one make a move above three early this week, which would be great. You know, we could initiate new shorts on this one. And short target over the next couple of weeks is a move back to the 20 day exponential down there at a buck 60. So let's see if we get a nice little pop on this one Monday and Tuesday to initiate uh, new shorts on it. LVLT continuing to keep an eye on this heavy volume trader, but uh, it's been holding the dollar 10 area pretty well. A break over a buck 15 in this market uh, could finally see the stock make a run for its 200 day moving average. So a stock to throw on the watch list on friday we jumped into trid buck 47 buck 48 our target was 155 to 160 traded as high as 164 10 percent in a couple of hours can't argue about that would look to add to this position on any dips down below a buck 50 again but deeply or it's given up all of its uh great earnings run here move on the last week so you know time for this one to put in a nice little bounce ETRM, you know, we're just keeping an eye on this one. Low flow play could see a pop to the 210 to 215 area uh, just based off the setup. The last couple of times we've seen a setup like this, it's gone on and had these nice little spike moves. And these low float, low volume plays are pretty much all the traders are really focusing on right now. LOCM, uh, let's keep an eye on this one tomorrow. This is a stock got bashed big time by uh, some quotation marks investigational website. Uh, likely short the stock irregardless. Very, very steep sell off on this one. Uh, looks like it could be possibly putting in a bottom here. If it does have a snapback rally, you could see this one go on a you know 10 to 25% move over the next couple of days. So it could see a snapback bounce to the $5 area, which down here under four is not a bad return. And this is the most oversold the stock has been in a while. Granted, now remember, this stock is being bashed big time. Uh, whether it's merited or not, I don't know. It probably is, but irregardless, could see a nice little short cover bounce in this one early this week. So keep a very close eye on it. That's pretty much it for the video tonight. Again, high cautious stance right now. Very, very dangerous market here. So we're going to be sticking mostly to intraday trades. So definitely, if you can, come into the chat room. There's a lot of plays in there that move so fast or the gains are so small that uh, sending out alerts on them is pointless. So, you know, be very cautious right now. High cash stance. Take the small gains when they're given and be really nimble in this market and fingers crossed that we get a bounce tomorrow but odds are that we're probably not going to giving the setup here on the on the 15 minute chart and be prepared to see lower prices in the market that's it for the video see you guys in the chat room tomorrow goodbye